Hooray! It's a new day and time for more Steam Pages. The Finals! Multiplayer Shooter Destruction PvP FPS. It's weird that it's only 69%, I expected more. Anyway, The Finals is another sort of like Battle Royale, but not really. It's an FPS PvP shooter, but pretty much everything is destructible. So if you need to get the vault, which is what you're trying to get, and it's on top of a building, you can go to it and then break the floor to bring it down. As you can see in those trailers. It looks very cool, it's actually free to play. I'm guessing it's monetized by selling you in-game items. It's a cool idea, but PvP shooting is not my thing. Alright, and it's only out today. Full release. Cool. Journey's Land RPG Clicker PvE Point and Click Action 3D. It runs like ass, it looks like Diablo if it was ass. Endure the Swarm Sokoban Post-Apocalyptic Narration Puzzle? It looks like a low-poly survival game. Where is the Sokoban in it? That's actually an interesting concept. Okay, so you're Sokobaning your way inside the building trying to make yourself safe before the swarm comes in. And that's the puzzle element. Very interesting concept. There's a demo for it, so you can try it. Okay, nice. Deadville. Early access action adventure casual RPG. Looks like standard survival fair. At least we get immediate gameplay. That's good. Question is, do you have anything that makes you stand out? Because currently I don't see it. Blagmoz. Precision platformer PvP competition difficult. Looks kind of like Towerfall, but not exactly like Towerfall, so I'm not sure what you're actually doing. Maybe it is kind of like Towerfall, so I'm not really impressed. Bugs and Guns is a cooperative third-person shooter. Player will need to combine their weapons firepower to eliminate enemies and obstacles as players try to protect a train called Mark. So very basic third-person shooter. It's free to play, so sure. Looks decent enough. Idle Cave Miner is an idle game about crafting items, mining gems, and building your team of miners. So pretty much a regular idle game with a mining twist. Sitting currently at 50% with 11 reviews. It's out now for 5 bucks, so I guess if you like idle games, you know what, I'm gonna keep tabs on it. Shadow Strike Strict Combat, Action Casual Fighting 3D Fighter. No, that's a 2D fighter, actually a 2D brawler. Very low poly, kind of basic, doesn't look anything interesting. This is not how you make a tribute game. It looks like Race the Sun, except it runs like ass. If your trailer looks like this, don't freaking put in a trailer even. Monster Loves You 2. Is this a sequel to Monster Loves You? Kinda looks like it is. Adventure Choices Matter Life Sim RPG. As far as I remember, it's a sort of visual novel, but you play a monster and you try to live in a monster society. Yeah, looks like it is kind of a sequel for Monster Loves You, but the developer has been renamed, which is weird. Maze Nuts Early Access Action Roguelite Turn-Based Tactics. Looks like a maze game, but the maze moves, and it's very head-bobbing, so I hate it. Zumba Garden Casual Match 3 Relaxing Arcade Shooter. Okay, so it's another Zumba game. Don't put full motion video in your trailers, it doesn't look good. A Army Base. Looks nice, but if you can't even handle grammar... Eh. This game is easy. I don't care about anything else, I just don't want to play it. Don't think you're a smartass by putting something like this as a game title. People will be smartasses back. I'm just doing it on purpose. 3D Printmaster Simulator Printer. Casual Simulation Strategy Education 3D. So instead of buying a 3D printer, you spend 10 bucks to buy a 3D printer that doesn't exist, or you're actually kind of running a business. Very strange concept, but sure. Sky Fury, combat racing action flight local multiplayer. I like racing, I like combat racing. It looks weird, but my problem with it is that it looks very messy, and you can barely tell what's going on and what to do. Also, it looks slow, and these things moving about makes it look very weird. V-Rogue. Now this is a really interesting concept. It's Rogue in VR. <laughs> so first of all, it's kind of cheap to do because the environment is very basic. But also it's funny because the environment looks like Rogue. So this is a dragon. <laughs> and you swing a parenthesis. Also funny. Monster Crawl Warrior. Oh, so it's kind of a prologue to the actual Monster Crawl game. Action RPG Action Roguelite 2D. Stylistic, looks kind of nice. So that was a demo you can play for free, and this is the actual monster crawl coming sometime in 2024, which you can also follow. So I guess I'll try it. Conclave Virtual Tabletop, another virtual tabletop game. So it's 3D, you got 3D models, you got effects, and it supports Hero Forge, so that's a nice touch. 
You only need to buy one copy, which is good for players, I'm not really sure how good it is for developers. But, well, in my world, Avidity has a lot to prove to be better than Foundry. And fancy graphics aren't enough. Svarog's Dream Action RPG Open World RPG Isometric Loot. Loot! It looks nice enough, but I'm actually thinking that the very zoomed out version is not really a good idea. Because you can barely see what's going on. It's out now for 18 bucks if you want to try it. Make Way is a local multiplayer party PvP 3D. Looks like a racing game in the vein of Micro Machines. It looks like you can build your own tracks with your friends, so that's cool. And it actually looks like you're trying to be racing Fall Guys. Actually, racing combat Fall Guys. Cool concept, but again, the camera is too high and you can barely see the next section of the track. And in a game where the track is actually moving, and you can't learn it, that's a pretty big deal. Magic Force is a 3D adventure game. You have to take on the role of a traveler who went in search of new adventures. Okay, that's not saying a lot. Looks like a very basic third-person shooting. Some things look nice stylistically, others very not so much, and it looks boring. Cloud Castle is a strategic tower defense game that builds your defense route by placing and upgrading on a grid map. Sounds like tower defense. Yeah, looks like very basic tower defense. Sledders, simulation snow off-road racing. Okay, that can be cool, but something about a 3D camera looks weird. I feel like the field of view is much too big. Looks like a nice off-roading sim. Legends of Amberland 2 The Song of Trees is a classic western RPG inspired by great 90s era games such as Might and Magic, Wizardry, Ultima, the Gold Box series, Light, Fairy Tale, Epic Heroic, Slightly Humorous Adventure. This looks like a classic dungeon crawler, and I love that. I miss those. I really should play Legend of Grimrock too. The problem I have with this is, even though it's a very archaic style right now, it would have been a lot nicer if the transitions were smooth. They're not. That's a problem. Ah, Exploration 2D Platformer, Nature Story Reach, and the next game by Inkel LTD. So if you know Inkel games, you'll know what this is about. This is probably going to be very, very story rich and a lot to do about language. Language. Looks like it's also trying to do some platforming and some other things, but I guess Inkle is a very niche audience and I'm not exactly in it. Chessorama is a collection of chess-inspired puzzle and strategy games that use chess pieces and their established movesets, then reimagine their goals and, and themes. So it's a weird chess-like bunch of mini-games. If you like chess, try it out. And I'm guessing that if you like chess soccer, you can also try it out. <laughs> Born of Bread is a wacky and joyful RPG adventure revisiting turn-based combat tropes. Play as a loaf, a flower golem discovering this enchanting world full of humor along with a colorful cast of buddies. Combination 2D, 3D, basic combat. What exactly is the point? Feyland, an adventure RPG set in a beautiful world inspired by 8-bit classics. So I'm guessing someone is trying to be very Zelda. I'm against it. Check Maze brings chess and mazes together and introduces new pieces and mechanics to the classic game of chess. Also looks like a kind of chess puzzle game, weird that two came out really close to each other, but this one actually looks a lot less interesting. Anks Defense. Defend your nexus by placing mirrors and buildings on the path of your projectiles. Deflect, empower, manage and solve each map using your creative and strategic mind. It's a tower defense where your main weapon is mirrors. I think I very much like that concept. It's cool, it's not classic, it forces you to think a bit. I'm going to try the demo. Little Chef's Co-op is an overcooked ripoff, obviously. And it doesn't look like it's doing anything different. Last Train Home is strategy, real-time tactics, RTS, historical 3D. You command a legion of soldiers desperately trying to make their way home amidst the chaos of civil war. So it's kind of like colony management combined with real-time tactics. It looks good, I've seen some gameplay, it's really cool, it's just kind of heavy and intricate, so prepare for that if you want to play. And you also make story choices that affect the game. That's it for now, join me next time for more Steam pages. Hopefully more of them are good than bad. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Stay good, have fun.